Welcome to the channel, this is TM Recaps. Today we are going to recap a comedy movie from 2010 titled, Furry Vengeance. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In the beginning of the film we see a man driving car through a forest, his name is Rig and he works under a guy called Neil Lyman, while driving he throws a cigar into forest, after seeing this a raccoon picks up the cigar and runs onto the road and is waiting for him, a mouse seeing this from far through a telescope, and then it triggers a series of traps, and a big rock comes down rolling and hits the car, the car is hanging at the cliff he opens the door and sees the raccoon, the raccoon gives him the cigar and the car fell of the cliff, next scene a man named Dan comes out of his house and he is in charge of a construction project happening in Rocky Springs, and he is living in the model house, he has to be there for one year until the project is complete, he talks with the engineer Frank and Frank tells him that they should get rid of the beaver dam, Dan says that they are the green company and they shouldn't do those kind of things, Frank tells he can make it look like an accident by slipping and dynamite into the beaver dam, Frank says no to this and goes to his house, while going in he sees a squirrel eating his blueberries and pumps water onto it, he wakes up his son Tyler for his first day of school and he starts his day, meanwhile the squirrel goes to complain about Dan to the raccoon, his wife Tammy talks with him saying that his son is pretty upset about being here and he is missing all his friends, Dan tells that he talked with his friends all the summer in online and he should be fine, Tammy suggests Dan to have a chat with Tyler, Dan goes to Tyler and tries to talk with him, he tells to come outside to get some fresh air, and there will be cute girls around, Tyler says that yes and says there are also some rattlesnakes, and shows him a picture, Tyler goes away from the room, Dan is getting ready to meet his boss and taking some sandwiches for him, and he sees the raccoon at the window, after Dan puts the basket with sandwiches in the car the raccoon gets into it, Dan drives off to meet his boss Lyman, Lyman land in Rocky Springs and he meets Dan, he asks Dan how long is sight from here, when Dan says it will take two hours for a round trip Lyman gets back into the plane, Dan get in too, meanwhile at school Tammy joined as a science teacher, and other teachers welcomes her, the principal then says that the maths teacher who organizes the forest festival is sick this year and asks for a volunteer and everyone declines, when Tammy was about to say something the principal appoints her to organize the forest festival, Back at the plane Dan is showing Lyman the pictures of the site and saying how the project is going and what they still need, then Lyman tells him after this one year time they will be moving to phase 2, which is to convert the entire forest into a township, and tells Dan to be in charge of that too, cause Rig couldn't, who is supposed to be in charge of phase 2, when Dan hesitates Lyman tells him that he will double Dan's salary, the raccoon who is in the basket see this and it is scared about this, back at the house Dan tells his family about the deal, after hearing this Tyler gets frustrated and he storms out of the room, the raccoon gets back to the other animal and tells everything he heard in the plane, and an eagle brings Dan's ID, the raccoon shows it to others and tells he is a bad guy, next day Dan sees the raccoon in front of his house and tries to use the sprinkler on it, but it sprinkles the water on him, Tammy and Tyler are still angry on Dan, then Frank comes and says he blew up the beaver dam, later Dan changes up, and is on his way to meet Lyman and is on phone with him, while he was going he sees the raccoon in the middle of the road and stops, he gets out and tries to get raccoon out of the way, but it doesn't listen to him, frustrated Dan backs up his car and decides to hit it, the rat sees this and triggers the traps, when he is coming fast he sees the rock and suddenly hits the brakes, he gets out of the car and goes to the edge of the cliff to talk with Lyman, but he falls of the cliff, back home Tammy and Tyler are stressed about Dan cause his office called and said he never made it to the meeting, then a forest ranger brings Dan's car to his house, and tells her that where he found his car and hands over Dan's phone to her, and then starts to doubt that Tammy murdered Dan, and he starts to question her, Tammy is so confused and doesn't understand what he is saying, then Dan comes to the house all wrecked, he comes to Tammy and takes his phone from her and goes into the house to make a call to Lyman, the ranger goes away, while Tammy and Tyler are waiting to talk with Dan, he keeps himself busy on the phone with Lyman, they gets irritated of this and they goes out of there, later he goes to Tammy and apologizes to her for calling Lyman first instead of talking to them after getting home, then Tammy tells about the forest festival, later that night while sleeping a crow comes to the window of Dan's room and starts pecking it, Dan gets irritated and tries to shoo it off, and he uses the files but they fell off, Tammy comes and sees her files on the ground, Dan goes to pick them up, later Dan sleeps in living room then the crow comes there to disturb Dan, Frustrated Dan goes out of the window onto the roof, he gets near the crow he slips and falls off the roof, he tries to hold on but the crow pecks him in the face and make him fall, next morning Tyler comes and finds him outside the house, 
After that before going Tammy tells Dan he is acting strange and suggests him to take a day off. Dan tells he can't cause he have a meeting with Lyman, and then gets into the house, while he was jogging on the treadmill the raccoon comes there and pulls of the plug which makes Dan fall off, and when he is about to eat a rat throws some nut into the cereal bowl, later when Dan was about to get into the car Frank meets him and reports about how the work is going on, while they are talking some skunks enter into the car, Dan gets into the car and smells something bad while driving, when he looks back there are skunks all over and gets dashed into the pipes, he gets a bath and pours whatever finds to get rid of the smell, after getting out of the bath he couldn't find his clothes, and he wears his wife's clothes and tries to get into the car by hiding behind an umbrella, but he got caught by the workers, he gets into the car and a skunk releases a fart bomb on him again, Dan gets to the plane and he stays outside the car and calls Lyman to talk and tells he can't come inside, while talking Lyman tells Dan to plan an event for the investors from India to greet them, Dan remembers about the forest festival and tells to Lyman about it, Lyman likes the idea, when Dan turns back and he sees a vulture and it starts to follow him, Dan tries to run all over and tries to escape from the vulture and gets into bushes, where he got stung by bees, back at school Tyler goes into the library and talking with a friend on the phone, a girl named Amber comes there and introduces herself as the student librarian, when Tyler introduces himself Amber says she knows and calls her dad a tree killer, Tyler tries to ask her out but she goes away, Tammy gets to home and gets terrified after seeing Dan who got stung by the bees, later Dan wakes up from sleep and hears a noise and he goes down to check, there he sees all the animals partying in his house, turns out it's just a dream, next morning Tammy wakes up and sees Dan outside doing weird stuff, he is setting traps for the raccoon and the other animals, Tammy gets out and asks him what he is doing, he tells her that he's setting out their traps for the animals that are trying to get him. Tammy gets frustrated and thinks he is going crazy and sends him to a therapist, later Dan goes to the therapist and he shows Dan some pictures, Dan tells him that they all look like animals, well they look like the animals, the doctor tries to convince him that the animals won't cause him harm and all that are happening to him are all his imaginations, while this is happening the raccoon and the others are in the car and they start the car and drives it, Dan goes out to his car and tries to get in through window but gets stuck in, and they drives it towards the lake with Dan got stuck, and the animals gets out, back at home Amber is at Tyler's home and they are spending time, Tammy asks Amber about herself and Amber tells about herself, Tyler tells that he loves this place now, they hear siren and goes out to check, it was Dan who got there pulled by a tow truck, Dan gets out off the car and goes into the house to remove leeches from him, while Dan is in his room and testing the cameras he fixed outside, Tyler comes there and tells that he believe him, and tells him that Amber told him that many people in the past tried to settle in the rocky springs but got pushed out by the raccoons and other animals, and tells that Lyman is rezoning the reserved forest, Dan doesn't believe this and takes it light, that night Dan sees something in the camera that got caught in the traps and goes out to look, but it turns out to be just a toy, then he sees something in the dark, and it is a bear, it starts to follow him and he gets into the toilet stall and hides in there, Next morning Tammy and Tyler comes out looking for Dan and they finds the toilet on the top of the tree, then the stall falls down and they bring a water hose to wash of Dan, after getting out he follows the raccoon and takes off the ranger's car, later he dresses up as John Rambo and takes a weapon to kill the raccoon, but he couldn't bring himself to kill it, and throws the weapon away, then the raccoon attacks him in the family jewels, the ranger comes there and shoots the raccoon with a tranquilizer, Dan takes it and shoots the skunk, and the rangers start to clear the forest and they catch all the animals and puts them in cages, Dan gets back to his normal life and he is so happy now, and everything is going well for him, later Lyman meets with Dan and Tammy to get to know about the festival details, and recommends to make some changes in the plans, later while Amber and Tyler are out for a jog they stop at a place and talks about Dan, Amber then asks Tyler to kiss her, when Tyler was about to kiss her she hears something and goes to see it, they sees all the animals are being caged, Amber accuses Dan for all this, and she gets angry on Dan and Tyler and she leaves, after that Tyler gets to his father and asks him about it, and they get into a fight and Tyler calls him selfish before leaving, next day at the festival Amber is trying to get people to sign off the petition which is against Lyman and his plans to destroy the forest in Rocky Springs, Tyler tries to help her but Amber doesn't care about him, Tyler and Amber comes to Lyman and tries to convince him to stop destroying the forest and that will kill the animals, the investor sees this and gives the deal to Lyman and says less animals less hassle, Tyler gets disappointed and leaves the place, Dan goes to somewhere by saying that he has something to do, Dan goes to the cage and he releases all the animals in the cages, 
Back at the festival while Lyman is giving a speech Dan comes there and tries to convince the people and he calls Lyman a fraud and he apologizes his family for always putting his career first. Then Lyman offers a $100 million fund to develop Rocky Springs and the people gets happy about it. When the investor is about sign the deal a bird throws its dump of the file. The raccoon and all the other animals comes there including the bear. All the animals starts to cause ruckus there. The raccoon calls for flight bombers. Few birds comes and there shoots down shit bullets. Lyman gets hold onto a tranquilizer gun and tries to shoot the raccoon, but Dan throws a rock at him and he misfires at the investor, the investor calls off the deal, Lyman tries to escape but the animals takes him away, later Dan apologizes Tyler for all the things that happened and they both get together now, in the last scene we see Dan becomes a forest ranger and he is protecting the forest now, the end. Thanks for watching the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe the channel.